Okay. Let me ask you another difficult question. If I were to count back all the world champions, and after all, this is the 500th Grand Prix, that if you totaled up all of those great champions, the number of times they had made contact with other drivers, that you in the last 36 months or 48 months have been in contact with more other cars and drivers than they might have done in total. I find amazing for you to make such a question, Stuart, because you are very experienced mm, and you know very. a lot about racing. And um, you should know that by being a racing driver, you are under risk all the time. And by being a racing driver means you are racing with other people. And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver because we are competing. We are competing to win. And, and the main motivation to all of us is to compete for a victory, is not to come third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. When there is a gap, it's designed for being in a competition at a, vi at a very high level, with cars going so close that as they go today, with the same horsepower, with the same level of grip, with the same load aerodynamic, you all know with the different circuits where it's very difficult for overtaking because the circuits are designed not in appropriate manner for overtaking maneuvers, you either commit yourself as a professional racing driver that is designed to win races or you come second or you come third or you come fifth. And I'm not designed to come third, fourth or fifth. I race to win as long as I feel it's possible. Sometimes you get it wrong, sure. You, it's impossible to get it right all the time. But I race designed to win.